No matter where I go or where I travel, I'll always learn there's something new. And the mysteries of the world I will unravel if I can learn just a bit of what you do. City, you're watching the best show here in New York City. So let's get to it. The man of the hour, Mr. Vinnie Bella, everybody. Yeah. Uh, tonight we have, like I said, we have a hell of a show. We have a lot of my friends on here tonight. But uh, you know what? First of all, I want to introduce this, uh, uh, my, uh, um, the director of the show. Yes, the director of the film. The director. Where are you, an echo? <laughs> Sean Roman. Sean Roman. Oh, yeah. Sean. And the uh, name of the, uh, the movie that he, uh, that he put together was Ticket Cops. Please, tell me a little bit about it. And first of all, I know uh, uh, my boy over there at the end. And... Uh, uh, you drawing a blank. You're drawing a blank. Oh, man, my name. <laughs> my, my name, my, I just went blank. Nick. Nick. Nick Rayo. There you go. Nick Rayo. Nick Rayo. Okay. Okay, please. Well, Ticket Cops is a farcical journey of those agents in New York City many of us love to hate. It pokes some lighthearted fun of people with a very difficult job that is giving out traffic tickets every day. The story focuses somewhat on this young man who is a Salesian High School graduate and he's now in his first summer away from um, high school education and going out into the real world. And as a young man, he actually was a lead and did very well. And uh, an actor, a professional actor told me, he goes, because I had some reservations about hiring somebody so young or picking somebody so young for the real role. And the acting professor told me, out of all the people in the cast, he'll give you the least trouble. And that turned out to be too. That's Chris Toro right here. Okay. And for a low-budget comedy, sometimes you have people who just drop out. So one of our ticket agents was going to be an Indian guy. It was played by an actual Spanish actor. But he just <laughs> left the project. We were without anybody. So the role was rewritten. And a former co-worker of mine, Jeffrey Chen, stepped in and played Mr. Johnny Wong, one of the adversaries right. in the film. <laughs> then we have the great Nick Ryo, who played bombastic odd father, Don Calzoni. <laughs> and Patricia. De La Rosa, she played Sexy Martinez, one of the better looking <laughs> ticket agents in the film. <laughs> <laughs> and somebody who could not be here tonight is the writer and producer, Mr. Kwame Antebaum. Everybody give him a hand. He has tough working hours. He's a City College graduate. This is the first script he wrote. Somebody challenged him to do it, and he based it, from what I know, on his brother, who worked as an actual ticket cop in New York City. OK, now, it's, now if I'm not mistaken, I think if my recollection is correct, you also have someone else that's in this movie that's not here tonight. I think his name is Al Burgo. Yes, New York City film legend Al Burgo played a role. And a little bit later in a scene we have of Jeff Chen, Al Burgo is in there. But first, Vinny, I'd like to show you the trailer. Can we play that? Yeah, sure, please. Let's go right ahead. Camera's right behind us. Here. Just get it. Don't write no ticket. Don't be an idiot. You're being stupid now. The city of New York is losing money. They need it desperately. So whoever writes the most tickets tomorrow will win $50,000. Can't get this ticket right now, all right? Maybe, you know, I'll just hear your honest mistake here for five minutes. Maybe we can do something. I'm going to do his good. If I don't have my money back, by 5 p.m., there's going to be two more names in tomorrow's obituary. Us black people, we could do anything. Take a cop! I can't stand you! <laughs> Please, so tell me a little bit more. Now, this was a, a low budget or an ultra? This was a micro budget movie. <laughs> ultra low budget. You see, two of the people in that clip, the guy who started it, who's going, gee, 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 
get out of here. You're, you're being stupid now. And the guy is going, take it coffee, can't stand you. They're both my friends. They're guys who hang out at Memorial Field in Flushing playing handball. So I basically had a lot of people from various walks of life that I brought to this film, and so did the producer, brought some of his friends, like Jeff Chen over here. How did you like it? This is your, your first time acting. What did you think of the experience? I thought I was going to get paid a lot more than what you actually paid me. <laughs> 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 or, or Chris Toro being the lead in like the first film you're in. How, what did you think of that? Uh, it was probably one of the fun, the most fun doing something acting wise, and it was, it was a really good time. Really and, fun time. And Nick, we had a, basically a very young cast. How did you like hanging out with us for oh, a few days fun. last summer? Plus, I, you know, I got to just wear my bitch robe. <laughs> <laughs> and Patricia, did, did the scenes we have you in, were they too provocative? <laughs> No, they were okay because I feel sexy. It's not going from me. Well, we're just very little. I'm not the producer. Uh, I don't want to know how much. So I don't know the finances. Do you guys want to discuss what the producer no, paid? No, I don't, I don't want to know what you guys got paid. I got but about, was there a little something? I got about 10 got, million. Yeah. It's okay. I, it doesn't matter. I can elaborate on this a little. I want to tell the greatest story that I have with regard to this film. And it's a dedication to my good friend and colleague who's not here, Kwame Antamam, who's both the writer and producer. One day we were short a person while we were filming a scene. And please set the next clip up for this one. So we had one guy who was going to throw this guy right here, our lead, who plays one of the lead traffic agents, who's kind of like a mixed race type of guy who finds himself in trouble, finds some mob money, wastes it, has to pay back the bombastic godfather over there. So then he's out with his love interest, and he's going to basically get into it with a guy that we have to throw him eventually into a garbage can because they get into it a little bit. So we didn't have the guy who throws him into the garbage can. We didn't have his partner. just didn't show up. So we're down an actor. What does Kwame Antabom do? He sees this nice-looking guy in uh, Jamaica, Queens, walk into his house after coming from basketball practice. Goes into his house, doesn't have anything to do with movies. He decides, I'm going to knock on some stranger's door. Knock on the, the guy's already in his house. And he says, hello, uh, what's your name? My name's Kwame. So the guy says, my name is Jason Harris. And would you like to be in a movie where down a guy? What does he say? OK, I'll be in your movie. And all of a sudden, we have an extra actor that we didn't have when we woke up. So now, in this next clip, you're going to see Kwame. He's the guy with the Nets jersey. And you are also going to see the young man, Jason Harris, who just got a knock on his door. And all of a sudden, he's in a movie and on IMDb. Um, so roll that, that clip. That is Jason Harris. Is this a real Jason Harris that you knocked on his door? Yeah. Or is this a setup? No, not a setup. <laughs> Absolutely real. It's a true story. Did you tell him there was no money in it? Um, <laughs> <I did. laughs> he found out afterwards. Like, I'm dying to see what this guy looks like. Okay, that's Kwame on the left with the Nets jersey, and the man with the hat is Jason Harris, and that's me directing in the middle. Yo, Jay, yeah, isn't it that uh, hold here from the panty shot? Oh, yeah, um, ain't your name Cinnabons? <laughs> yeah, that's that. Yo, yeah, you know what she'll do for a dollar? No, yeah, let me, let me see. get that. Let me see what she's doing. Yo, check this out. Do the dog walk for me, Yo, baby. motherfucker, you better recognize and have some respect what? for a lady. A lady? Yo, B, that's a hole. Nigga, you know who I am? I'm KDZ, yo. I'm deep in the streets, man. So if you want to show me you can't handle, you better back the fuck up and apologize to my woman. <laughs> Jason Harris. Mr. Jason Harris. The police. Tell well, me more about your, your no-budget movie. Well, <laughs> well, it hasn't premiered anywhere. If you it's like me, don't. Don't call me until you get a few, you know, few put up there. I wanted mm -hmm. to put you in my next work. I guess this is not good for those Your prospects. next one. <laughs> yeah. Is there going to be a budget on this next one? Well, I filmed something at Coney Island called the Great Coney Island Egg Toss. I have to edit it over the summer. Okay. I did that. Yes. And that's the next one that's coming up? Um, I, yes. It's already, Kwame also helped me with that one as well. We went down there 4th of July weekend. We got some great tape of a tradition they do by the handball courts. I see. Yeah. And you were yeah. thinking of calling me? I was. Well, no, for, for one of the more ones that required actors, but since uh, I think your price, I may, be, I may be out of the box, it looks like. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything in front of the people. <laughs> well, Ticket Cops is about ticket writing. So our final clip of the day has Jeffrey Chen, Kenny's chief adversary in this picture, writing a bunch of tickets during a ticket writing contest that the eccentric billionaire mayor has personally sponsored.
traffic guy, come on, give me a break. You should have got a handicap stick here. Give me a break. I'm getting tickets all for fucking week over there. Help me out. <laughs> Make a right and go two blocks. There's a traffic jam on Sutton. What are you gonna do about it, Peg Leg? <laughs> 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 Has a, I know Al very well, he's fabulous. Uh, Al also has a movie about tickets as well, mm -hmm. right? I've Did seen that one. Yeah, that one's funny too. Now this, he acted in this separately from, was that around the same time you guys did this? No, or? no, completely different. I met he Al, really hate cops. I met Al <laughs> on the uh, set of The Last Gamble, which you were in, Vinny. Yeah. And I thought it was very funny. And my good friend Jeff Chen can tell everybody what it's like to work with Mr. Burgo. Well, you know, actually, because my part was completely created out of the blue, that we didn't have a script. So we just had to make the whole thing up on the fly. I had no lines, Al had no lines, and we just kind of went at it at each other. We were screaming at each other at, I think it was 10 o'clock in the morning <laughs> on a Saturday. Al was cursing at me, as you could see. That was Al actually a little tame. Um, and there were children, like small children, just walking nearby. And I would have to say, I'm so sorry, before you launch into his next <laughs> crazy rant. As he's chasing me while I'm pretending to limp, making fun of the fact that he's supposedly handicapped. <laughs> yeah, he's the biggest ticket writer of them all in the film. And he also challenges pedestrians to bizarre contests instead of actually writing tickets. And you get to see that if you actually watch the film. How long is this short? 69 minutes. It's not exactly a short. No, it's a feature. Yeah. Yeah. So I've submitted it locally, nationally, and internationally, and we have to see right now if the thing has legs. It depends all on the responses. Well, I wish you a lot of luck with it because from what I've seen, it looks pretty good. Well, I guess the, one of the last things I'd like to say about the movie is if you watch it, you'll see that every one of the characters who's a ticket cop has a little bit of gag, a little bit of a gag. Um, Kenny. One of our leads, played by Chris Toro. You, do you smile? You haven't smiled once. No. I know. When you guys were talking, I was dying over there. Look at Zemo over here. Look at that. Look at that. That yeah, smile. Yeah, you should have seen yeah. what difficulty he had just getting here. I've had about 10 phone calls from him in an hour right before the show. Yeah. Oh, okay. You couldn't find West 59th Street. Oh, I see we got the lights that's <laughs> queuing us up for our... You couldn't find West 59th Street? No. Where are you from? Uh, Castle Hill, the Bronx. From the Bronx. Oh, oh, yeah. J-Lo's neighborhood. J-Lo. Yeah. Well, J-Lo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Castle Hill, yeah. You know, <coughs> neighborhood. And you couldn't find West 59th Street? He no. ran all the time. I was running all the time. So like, I bet you if they said there were free hookers on the corner, you'd find it, right? He needs to give me a That's it. You know, we don't have much more time left, but I, from what I understand, yeah. you also have some dances. Every character, every ticket cop who's in the role has a gag, and two of our great actors, Terrence Truitt, plays Danceaholic. Instead of giving out tickets, he also does it with a smile. He dances while he gives out tickets. And we also have Demetrius Carey. He plays beatbox. He doesn't talk. He only beatboxes, and here they are. Oh, please, bring them up. <laughs> Picture them in ticket cop uniforms as you're watching this. <laughs> 